What if I told you you can build websites with AI and sell them for real cash? I will show you a few real-life examples as inspiration. Of course, this is not a guarantee that you will sell your web apps for the same amount of money. But I did some research and I found web apps that sold for hundreds of thousands and even millions of dollars. For example, Spencer Patterson, who calls himself a non-technical founder, sounds just like me, sold his content creator paywall platform similar to Patreon for 3.5 million on Flippa. And the acquisition price was roughly 25x the monthly revenue of the business at that time. His business was just four years old. Spencer shared all the process of selling on Flippa in his post, and if you want to read all the details, I'll drop a link in the description below. This is another example. It was a four-year-old online marketplace, a web app connecting small business owners with their customers in Ireland. It was sold on Flippa for $203,000, which was roughly 13x its monthly profit. By the way, Flippa is just one of the marketplaces to sell your sites and web apps. I'll drop a link in the description below so you can check what other projects people sell there right now and their asking prices. And in this video, I'll show you how you can build a web app from scratch without touching a line of code. To walk you through this process step by step, I partnered with Hostinger Horizons and I will show you their AI web app building tool. You just write plain English prompts and the AI builds the app, including the layout, features, and even deployment. So you can go from an idea to a live web app in minutes. That speed is what makes this powerful and potentially very profitable. Go to Hostinger Horizons using the first link in the description below, log in and you will see a window like this. Okay, I will start with a very generic prompt and see where it goes from here. I'll just say, I want to build a goal and habit tracking web app. Then hit enter, the AI starts generating the app. While it's working on the left side, you will see step-by-step -step messages, how it builds the user interface, the files and logic. Now, once it has the first iteration ready, it will appear on the right side as a live preview. Okay, just as my original prompt, the result is very basic. I can create one habit and that's it. So I need to be more specific. I'll type in the app, let users add daily and weekly habits, mark them as done and view their progress on a calendar or checklist. All right, it's finished the update and this already looks more interesting. We've got a dashboard, a tab for adding goals and another tab for adding habits. I even see down here my first test habit that I added to exercise 40 minutes per day. I will test adding a goal to see if this works properly. So the goal is to read 12 books this year, create a goal, and it's done. Now let's try to register here that I've read one book and it's adding 8% in the progress bar. Looks and works perfect so far. Now let me try this additional request. Add a calendar view with check marks. I'll speed up the generation when I edit the video. Okay, so we have a new tab calendar over here and I can actually add a check mark on my daily habit. By the way, all the changes that I make are instantly saved and I can preview them to check how the interface would work and look on different devices. Click on these buttons in the top right corner and, for example, if I click on the mobile view, well, it looks like I added too many tabs and now they don't even fit in the mobile screen. I will try to fix this with the next prompt and we'll see how it works in a few moments. And then you can also switch to the desktop preview and even check the site on the full screen. Now I will ask it to fix the tabs in the navigation bar on the mobile devices. The buttons should fit the width of the smaller screens. 
A few seconds later, the AI found a great solution. Instead of the names, these tabs will just have icons on the mobiles, and when I click on them, I can see which one is for the goals, which one is for habits, and so on. If you need to change some of the text or edit your buttons, you can easily switch to the text editing mode here. Then you just type the text and it updates on the site. Super easy. See, I added the word app at the end of this line. Now, if I want to make my new web app available for other people, I will click on this publish button in the top right corner and we can view the live site on this temporary domain provided by Hostinger. Obviously, this is a very long address for a website, but the good news is that you can also get a domain name on Hostinger. I tried here domain goalsandwins.com and luckily it was available, so I registered it and in a few minutes I was able to publish the app on this domain. Don't worry if you initially see this message, it's just SSL certificate that usually takes a few hours to start working on the secure protocol. I checked the site a few hours later and it is available on goalsandwins.com and it's working as expected. You've seen the whole process with me. You don't need to worry about hosting, a domain setup or anything technical. Hostinger takes care of all of it. If you ever need help, there is also a help button up here. Click on customer support and they offer 24-7 support with real people. You can start exploring these tools on the free 7-day trial, but paid plans start around $19.99 per month and they will give you more room to work. There is no long-term commitment and you can cancel anytime. If you enjoy using these tools, you can also lock in a 30% discount by switching to the annual plan. All these paid plans allow you to build up to 50 projects, you get hosting and up to five mailboxes per website for one year for free, you get access to online store integration, you can accept payments and Superbase integration. I'll explain in a few moments what it is and why you might need it. And all of this comes with a solid 30-day money-back guarantee, so you don't risk anything when you try it, even on a paid plan. The only difference between these plans is the number of messages that you can send in the AI chat per month. Now, let me show you the integrations available in Hostinger Horizons. Click on the Integrations button and you will see that you can connect an online store to your app. But the second integration option is called Superbase. With this integration, you can add to your app powerful features like signups, logins, and secure data storage in minutes. Actually, for my app, it totally makes sense to add it because each user will want to log in and track their progress with goals and habits over time. So I'll click on the Superbase button and then connect. If you want to check their documentation, you can click on this link, but it will ask you to create an account on this service. I signed up and on the next step, you will need to click down here on the green button to create an organization. I will call it just like my app, Goals and Wins, and I'll use the free plan for now. I'll click Authorize Hostinger Horizons and it will refresh the app in a few moments. Once the connection is done, you can create a new project on the actual Superbase website. Give it a clear name and a strong, secure password for the project's database and don't lose it. Choose the server region close to your audience. I get mostly audience based in the United States on this channel, so I'll go with this option. Click here to create the project and now you will need to go back to Hostinger Horizons, refresh the page, click on the Superbase button and you should see an option to connect this new project that you just created. Once it starts working, you will see what Hostinger Horizons AI is actually doing for you on the left side. It's connecting my Goals and Wins Superbase project to the app, which will replace the current local storage with a powerful cloud-based database. And now, what do you see on the right side of the app? It's a user sign-up form that wasn't there before this new update. Now, I will publish this version on the site and I'll try to test the user login. 
I'll be honest, this part with Superbase can get a little more technical depending on how your app works. If you get stuck in this process, I link for you in the description below a detailed tutorial on Hostinger's official YouTube channel. And that's it! Your AI-built web app is now backed by a secure database and full user management. This is your first project and it is real. Now it's time to sell it, grow it or launch the next one. You can build up to 50 projects on any plan with Hostinger Horizons. So turn your idea into a real business today. Grab 10% off Hostinger Horizons with my code Anastasia. Good luck and let me know in the comments below which web apps you have tried to build and how did it go for you. In the meantime, it seems that you're seriously into learning how AI tools can help you make money online. So check out my next video linked up there to learn about a few more AI tools that are making people rich this year. I'll see you in the next one.